Okay, so two new words, scalars and vectors. So write these words down. You know one of these, or both of these maybe. You know them, yeah? yeah. Uh, try not to translate. You can translate at home if you want, but try not to translate in class. Okay. Don't worry if you don't know these words. We'll explain them, so don't worry. Um, but some people know these words because they remember it from high school. But don't worry if you don't remember. We'll explain them. Is it a website? Yes, it is. Yeah. It's my Raspberry Pi hosted website. Um, okay. Whoops. So let's start with what a scalar is. So a scalar is a quantity, a thing, that has only magnitude, a size, and no direction. So in other words, a scalar is just a number. 5, 10, 100. These are all scalars. They're just numbers. But uh, they could also be numbers with a unit. So for example, 5 meters is a scalar. 90 kilograms is a scalar. Um, 1.2 is a scalar. These are all scalars. In fact, scalar and magnitude, they're nearly the same thing. There's one small difference between scalar and magnitude. Does anybody know it? Usually when I say scalar, I mean a magnitude and a unit. Usually. So really scalar and magnitude, they're the same thing. It's a number. Yeah? Okay. For example, walking at one step per second is a scalar. However, walking at one step per second to my home is not a scalar. Now, why is the second example not a scalar? What's so different about the first and second example? Yeah? The second one has direction. Second one has a direction. That's the difference. The first example is just a number. But in the second example, it's a number and yeah. a direction to the home. So this is not a scalar. A scalar is just a number. One step per second is a scalar. One step per second to my home is not a scalar. Yeah? It's a simple example I know, but I hope you get the idea. Yes? Okay, so this is the first definition that we have that they could ask you in the exam. I've seen it asked in the exam recently two or three times. You know, for like one mark. The question is, what is a scalar for one mark? Uh, you don't need to write all of this. This is enough. A scalar is a quantity that has only the magnitude and no direction. So you do get this in the exam. Okay, so please write this carefully. You all have this? Yeah? And sometimes they ask you for examples as well. So you, if you can't think of an example, here's an example for you. You have this? Yep. I can continue? No, no come on. So do you know what scalar is? Good. So no need to translate, right? Yeah. Okay, I can continue? 
Yeah. Um, I think if you don't have it taken down, maybe you can copy it from someone. Yeah. I'm just writing that. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So a vector has magnitude and direction. So, for example, one step per second to my home is a vector, uh, but one step per second is not a vector. Because for a vector, you do need a direction. And the first one? Yeah. Like, you know, we like this and... Oh, yeah, this is okay. And, and also, this is okay as well, if you want to use the minus one. True. Um, but for units, they don't like the slash. It needs to be like this. But in fact, for this one, it could be both, which seems strange. Uh, but you're right, it could be both. Again, in the exam, they could and they have asked for the definition of a vector. It's, you know, a one or two mark question in the exam. What is a vector? Or define a vector? Or give an example of a vector? We nearly have this, yeah? So I know for the people who have studied physics before, this probably seems quite boring. But um, don't worry, it gets much more difficult. So you should enjoy it while it lasts, okay? Now, continuing. The two most common examples of scalars and vectors are speeds and velocities. So, uh, most people think speed and velocity, sorry, I should say, most, non most native speakers think speed and velocity are the same thing. Uh, but in fact, speed and velocity are different for physics students. So, we all know what the word speed is. And velocity, does anybody know velocity? You know velocity, does anyone else know it? Yeah. A lot of people think velocity and speed are the same, the same meaning, but they're not. So anyway, before we continue, we should explain each of the words. So speed, what speed? Who can give me speed? The uh, definition, yeah? It's a measure per second. True, yeah, that's the unit, yeah. Uh, but what would be the definition if you were to explain what speed is? How fast you travel? Good, yeah. Make it a bit more technical, as like a formula or something. Anyone want to try? Yeah, that would, something like that would do it. So speed is the rate of change of distance yeah. per unit time. So, uh, for example, 50 kilometers per hour, or 10 meters per second, or one step per second. These are all speeds. They are the change of distance per time. So as you said, I have distance divided by time, basically. And look, here's my formula. Speed is distance divided by time. Okay, so please write this down. <coughs> For which one? In I kind of snuck it in, yep. Yeah. I'm sneaky like that. Just making sure I'm recording. Yeah. <coughs> 
system is not Windows. Yeah, yeah, I, don't like, yeah, I, use it. yeah I don't like I don't like Windows. The only thing I hate more than Windows Apple. <laughs> <laughs> On my hate list there's Windows and then above that is Apple. Sorry, if you have an Apple, you have my sympathy. I'm sorry. I don't know, I have uh, like Windows. Yep. But I use to be to, to use your window. Yeah, that's okay, yeah. Yeah. You have both. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what are you doing? This is Ubuntu. So operating system? This is an operating system. You've probably never heard of it. No. Uh, it would only be 5% of computers that would use it. But... In fact, of some things. Yes, it's very common for web servers. And in fact, when you go on to study at university, uh, it's very common in science and engineering. So it's, a so it's an operating system that is popular in engineering. Because I first learned it, I learned about it in university. So in university there's a good chance you will learn how to use it as well. And the great thing is it's free. Yeah. Yeah. Number one reason. Okay, do you have this? Yeah. You want to. I'll write it down later if you're interested. I like the name that. I'm asking what to what you call it. Well, call it. Uh, this would help. Uh, this operating system? Yes, yeah, you want to. It's the name of it. Ubuntu. Yeah, I'll like to name that later. Okay, now, velocity. Who knows the difference between velocity and speed? Does anybody actually know it? Yeah? Uh, that, uh, the speed of that. Yeah, that's it. That's the key word. Yeah, and that also. Yeah. Velocity is the change of position, or as you said, displacement per unit time. So, for example, 50 kilometers per hour north, or 10 meters per second to the finish line, or one step per second to my home. They are all velocities. In other words, as a formula, velocity is change of position divided by time. Now, displacement and position, they really mean the same thing, okay? So, you can see it up the top here. Displacement and position, they really mean the same thing. The test you gave us, you just want to... No, you want forget about it. It's like it never happened. We shall never talk about it again. It's like it never happened. What test? You just want to know how many people know it's so It's hard to do without calculating. Yep, this is also what I wanted to know. And, um, okay. So, can you see um, speed? Is speed a scalar or is speed a vector? Yes, what do you think? Yes. Scalar. And velocity, is it a scalar or is it a vector? Yes. It's a vector. Because velocity has direction. Speed is just a magnitude, just a number. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have this? No. No, okay. And then they ask like what the vector is. They uh, have asked for an example of a vector and an example of a scalar. So the easiest example to give is speed is a scalar, mm. velocity is a vector. And it's easy to remember because even the letters are the same. Yes. Speed is a scalar, F and S. Velocity is in a math, vector. In math, we know the sign speed s in the uh, yep. use it. Yes, yeah, yeah. Got it now? Maybe. Yep. 
Okay. Okay, and just in case you didn't know, when I said displacement, displacement is a vector, and it's just the position. So, for example, the ship is two kilometers to the east. Look, I would say Fahad is one meter in front of me. This is the displacement. Um, what else could I say? I could say uh, the computer is two meters to my right. This is a displacement. Displacement is like a position. You know, like it points to where it is. So, um, where are the biology students? Where are the biology students? Yeah, which room are they in? Where are the biology students? Right. Uh, how many meters? The room behind us, yeah? yeah? This is a displacement. You're saying where uh, something is. This is a displacement. This is what I mean by displacement. Yeah. Got it? Vector. It's a vector, yeah. Okay. Now what I didn't say because I don't want to be too technical, is when you have displacement, you also have an origin. By origin, I mean a center. So for example, if I'm saying where my students are, there's Fahad, there's all my students and so on, I'm the center. And this, is, this here is the vector. Okay. So I didn't say it here, but when I talk about displacement, in my mind I always picture a center. And the displacement is where the thing is from the center. No, it's okay. So for example, um, you tell me, where are the biology students? Yes? You understand my question? Where are the biology students? Yep. Where? Which classroom? You know which room they're in? Good. Where is this room? Where is it? Behind. Yes. Continue. Yes, and this is D207. Yeah. Yeah. So you can say behind me. So whenever you have a position, you always have an idea of the center. In her example, where was the center? She was the center. She said, behind me. Yeah? So when I say the room is there, I'm the center. I am the origin. Okay? Now we don't need to worry about that, but I just wanted you to think about that. Yeah? We don't even worry about it. Okay. Homebound to the finish line. These are all directions. Yeah, are you explaining what I tried to explain? Yes. Here. If you don't understand, just say so. It's no problem. Look. Because if one person doesn't know, then more than one don't know. Look. Hear me. This is called the uh, origin. A, B, C. So I could say this is uh, a displacement. So is this. So is this. So you see in all these examples A, B, C, I am the origin. I am the center. That's what I mean. Can I have to get that? On the distance from you to... Yeah, from me. So we always have an idea of a center, an origin. Okay? That's all I was trying to say. Mm -hmm. Right. 
So, terms like homebound finish line, uh, they're directions, but they're not so useful because they're not precise. So we need something more precise. We need to be clearer. So often vectors are given as a magnitude and an angle, which uh, we draw. So this is what a vector looks like. This is a vector. So here, this is the magnitude and this is the direction. So this is like north-east. Isn't this? It's about north-east? Yeah, no. yeah. This is the magnitude, how long it is. That's the magnitude. And this is the tail, and this is the head. So the tail, where does the tail go? At the center, at the origin. And where does the head go? The end, where it is. So for example, in this one here, this would be the tail, and then this would be the head. And this here is the magnitude. And the direction is uh, down, yeah. in front of me. Yeah. So please draw this. This is what a vector looks like. Now, in physics, we will study vectors. We will also study vectors in math class. However, uh, it will be more difficult in math class. In physics, we study just basic vectors, basic ideas about vectors. Uh, it gets harder, yes, it does. Okay, did you draw that? So I said, you don't need to write this down, just a good picture will do. If you can draw this neatly, yeah. Okay. You got that? Yeah. So, uh, let's see now. Uh, here's some examples I want to draw. So, we'll draw all of these roughly. Uh, but first, just write them down. Okay, so there's a one, two, three, four, yeah, there's a few examples here. So, these are all vectors we want to draw. Okay, on pause. So in these in this example here, all my vectors are velocities or displacements. Which what type of vectors are these? Are they examples of velocities or are they displacements? What do you think? Displacements. Sorry, velocities. But why? No, both are direction. And then and both have mind too, yeah? Why did I say these are velocity vectors and not displacement vectors? What do you listen, look, right, right. listen, listen, look, look, and listen carefully, okay? And I, look, don't be shy, look at me. I walk uh, one meter to Fahad, okay? Mm -hmm. Or, I walk one meter per second to Fahad. So the first one, displacement or uh, velocity? Displacement. Because I said one meter. So that's the position. But in the second example, I said one meter per second. That's the uh, velocity. Because of the time in it. Because it's moving. So all of these examples are examples of velocities. 
because of the meter per second. You see? They all have meter per second. If it only had meter, then it would be displacement. So for example, if I said five meters north, that's displacement. If I said five meters per second north, that's the velocity. Okay? So I knew they were velocities because of the uh, units. Units are important. Yeah. Did you write all of these down? Yeah. yeah, okay, let's have a look at them. Right. So we'll draw our person at the origin. So what was my first example? Five meters per second north. So that would be something like this. Nice and simple. Um, my next example, what is it? Now, this here is wrong. It's not right. It's wrong. I drew it too big. If this is five meters per second, it then it should be a little bit smaller. It should only be four meters per second. Just it shouldn't be as big. And even I think even that's a little too big. Maybe something like this. Yeah. Okay. What's the next example? Five meters per second. Five, oh, it uh, starts to get a bit trickier now. What did I write? F oh, no, just five meters per second west. So this one here to the west should be the same, the same length. length. Yeah, five meters per second west. Okay, what's next? One meter per second south. One meter per second south should be the smallest one there. Okay, so there. Okay, is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Now, what's next? Um, Two meters per second. 30 degrees north of east. But the next one. Yeah, it's, I said 30 degrees north of east. So my question is this, listen. Do we start at east and go up 30? Or start at north and go down 30? You say start at north and go down? Sorry, put away. 30 degrees north of east means you go 30 north from the east. Uh, so it's actually like this. Uh, and what, how big is it? Three, was it? Yeah, it's so it's actually like this and there's 30 degrees here and this is 3 meters per second. Yeah. Uh, what's the next one? 3 meters per second north, 30 degrees west. Yes, yeah, 3 meters per second north, 30 degrees west. So who knows what that one is? Uh, north, 30 degrees west, and 30 W. This uh, next one here. Where's it gone? Uh, this one, and 30 W. Who knows what that is? Well, my question is, where do I start to measure my angle? No, sorry, north. So we start measuring from the uh, north, 30 degrees to west. And how big is this? 3 meters per second, isn't it? Okay. What's the next one? 1 meters per second. Aha, okay. Now, you see, you're confident about this one. Yeah, what is the next one? From north. Correct, yeah. So when I use the word Berlin, it means from the north. Uh, so which way do we go, east or west? I think it's east. Yeah, it's clockwise. Yeah, so Berlin 30 degrees in English means 30 degrees from the north. Yeah. So that's a new word, I think, for you. Um, let's see. Berlin 30 means this. Uh, oh, what was the number, the magnitude? One. Just one? Okay, so I'll draw it in here. And this here is 30. Is 30. Uh, I'm running out of space. I can't. This is 30. Sorry, I'm running out of space. And um, what's the next one? But this is for east or west. 
Oh no, in English when we use the word barren, you see this word here? See this one here? Yeah. It always means uh, at north, sorry, from the north to the east. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. And the last one, two meters per second at 30 degrees. The last one, two meters per second at 30 degrees. At 30 degrees. It's not two east. Nope. Nope. East. East to north or south. Other one to north. If I should say um, at 30 degrees, it's like this one. Because um, the reason is uh, in math class, when you measure an angle, you measure it from here, don't you? So if I don't use a special word, if I have no special word, it means like normal, from the ground east, yeah. Uh, my beautiful diagram. I don't even know what that is anymore. What are you trying to find? Then we find three meters per north thirty. Three meters per second north thirty west. Yeah. That's this. That's this one here on the left. Uh, here. That's this one. Um, I'm trying to give you lots of vocabulary here as well because in the exam they could say this, they, whoops, uh, they could say this or they could say this or they could say this. So you need to be careful with your English here. You got that? Yep. Okay, so there's some simple examples here for you to do. If you get these finished, you can finish the other ones because I want both of these homeworks done for our next class, which is when is our next class actually? Do we have it tomorrow? Do you have your time table? Yeah, yeah when's our next class? And your phone is okay. Do you remember when your next business class is? Is it tomorrow or is it Wednesday? Tomorrow. It is tomorrow? Tomorrow is. What time? 11, 11. 11. 11 o'clock. Yeah, and then it's a double class. No, it's double again. Mm -hmm. 11 to lunchtime. Okay. So I need both of these homeworks done for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now what I was thinking was um, each week we have one tutorial class. Uh, so I was thinking we could do all the homework from that week in the tutorial. But if you want, maybe I could do some of the questions in the next class. It depends if you found it easier or difficult. Okay? But either way, I want you to have them finished for tomorrow. Okay, and uh, there's about five minutes left, so you can try and do a bit of it now. And take what photos and go with them? No. Nope. I don't write photos. Uh, like I was saying to Fahad, at least if you write this down, you can practice yeah, your style. I'm going to write them down at home. I'll write them down now. I'm not going to delete this, it's just going to sit there. Okay. Yep. 
Szóval, majd minden nem